Well, guys, we're going to be looking at excretion. We're going to be looking at how do we get the waste out of our blood. And it all happens in our kidney. Kidneys are no fun to cut up because you see very little. All you really need to know is kidneys are a little bit salty on the outside, and as we go to the middle, they're getting more and more salty. Why does that happen? If they get more salty, it encourages more water to diffuse out. Because the biggest problem you have in staying alive is keeping water. You don't have enough water, you die. So your body recycles your water over and over. If we have a look inside that kidney, there are millions and millions of what is called a nephron. Looking like that. And that's the whole unit of excretion, of recycling the stuff that we've got. So that's the thing we need to look at in a lot more detail. You've got the place where the stuff comes in. A wiggly bit. Then it goes right down into the middle of the kidney. Right back up to the edge of the kidney and finally connects to a connecting duct which will eventually go to your bladder. And over here you've got a capillary. A capillary network where your blood comes in and out. It's one of the few places in your body really high pressure. Blood comes in, high pressure, and there's tiny, tiny little openings here. Hold on, if you've got high pressure and tiny openings, what gets pushed through? Small stuff, and the big stuff doesn't. Your red blood cells, too big, you keep them in your blood. Your white blood cells, important, too big. Your big important proteins don't get pushed into here. Basically, your small stuff gets pushed into here. Your body then uses a lot of energy to get the important stuff out here. What's the point of peeing out glucose when it costs you so much effort to get it? So you use ATP to get the important stuff back out. Meaning, at about this point, you've got water, you've got salt, and you've got wastes, mainly urea. Now, if we're getting more and more salty as we come to the middle of the kidney, what's going to happen to the water in here? Some of it diffuses out. Down here it's more salty. More can diffuse out. Down here it's more salty. So what's happening to the concentration of your urine as we come down here, as the water is diffusing out? It's becoming more concentrated. The water's diffusing out. This membrane only lets water through. So when we get down to here, you now have really concentrated urine. It's got urea, urea but it's also got a lot of valuable salts in it. A lot of salt in there, and a lot of salt in your kidney here. As we come back up the other side, it's getting less salty. Hold on, if it's really salty here and less salty here, what can salt do? Diffuse out. So what you find is your salts are diffusing out as we come up here. Now we need to look at which specific salt ions. We'll get to that. Now what you find is your kidney is in two halves. This half only lets water through. It's only permeable to water. This half is only permeable to salts. So we lose all the water concentrating it. We lose all the salts, meaning up here we're left with high concentration urea. You've now concentrated the waste product by recycling everything at the beginning, getting rid of water, getting rid of salts, and it enters the collecting duct. Now this happens every day, all the time, nothing changes. But have you noticed when you've been in a swimming pool for a whole day, you need to pee lots? Yeah. Yeah. If you've played a lot of sport and sweated, you hardly pee at all. From here down, we start to get homeostasis. We start to get your body deciding, am I going to recycle the water? Am I going to flush it out? So down the collecting duct at the end, is where we get the homeostasis finally happening. This whole nephron is just about recycling the good stuff. 